Welcome to Science Wars, Chemistry, Physics, Math, and Law. Which field is best? Understand the force and energy, quantum mechanics and relativity. My field is pure and they rely on. Hello. In this activity, you are going to be comparing the rates of cell division. So uh, we'll be reading this blurb, looking at this chart, answering this question in a text box in your submit button. And then you will be calculating uh, the rate of cell division and you'll be entering that answer in the text box also. Okay, so uh, I'm using an old video that I uh, made to explain this. So wherever I say enter in your HMH book, that really means just enter it into the text box in your submit button. Let's get started. And what we're going to do is we're going to read this blurb together and answer this question and get into our math connection. Comparing rates of cell division. All cells in your body undergo cell division, but the rate at which they divide is linked to your body's need for that type of cell. In human cells, the S, G2, and M stages together usually take about 12 hours. The length of the G1 stage differs the most from the cell type to cell type. The rate of the cell division is greater in embryos and in children than it is in adults. Children have a shorter cell cycle and many of their organs are still developing, but the rate of the cell division also varies within different tissues of the adult. For example, the internal lining of the digestive tract receives a lot of wear and tear. The cells of the lining also encounter toxins that enter the body through the digestive tract. As a result, cells that line the stomach and intestine are replaced every few days. In contrast, cells that make up the rest of the intestine, mainly smooth muscle, and many of the internal organs, such as lungs, kidney, and liver, divide only occasionally in response to cell injury or death. So now you're going to uh, answer this question, analyze. Why does skin cell need to divide more frequently than the liver cell? So go ahead and answer that here. And then we're going to go on into this math connection. In this math connection, we're going to answer this question. There are about 25 trillion red blood cells in the human body. Red blood cells that are worn out and die are replaced by new cells produced in the bone marrow and stored in the spleen. Use the data in the next form, figure 3, to calculate the number of red blood cells the human body loses due to natural cell death every second. Assume there are 30 days in a month. Convert your answer to decimal form and round to the nearest tenth of a million. So um, I've made an example of this, so let's go ahead and look at that example and then we'll go ahead and solve this problem. So here's our example, comparing rates of cell division, skin cells and red blood cells. So different cell types divide at different rates as we've already seen. So uh, we're going to look at skin cells and then we're going to go ahead and set you up for doing um, the red blood cells. So skin cells first. So again we are answering this question in your HMH book on page 444. And how many seconds are in three weeks? So skin cells divide in two to three weeks. Well, we're going to use the maximum amount, three weeks. So we're going to find out how many seconds are in three weeks. So here's the math for that. So we take three weeks and we want to know seconds. So we have to convert all the way down to seconds. So we're going to multiply that by the number of days in one week. All right. So we do that and the weeks are going to cancel out. And now we need to cancel out days. So we're going to have the number of hours in one day. And again, the days will cancel out. And then we need the number of minutes in one hour. And the hours will cancel out. We're going to keep doing this till we get to seconds. So then there are 60 seconds in one minute. You can see that the minutes will cancel out. And if we multiply these things all together, the 3 by the 7 by the 24 by the 60 by the 60 you'll get the number of seconds in three weeks which happens to be 1,814,400 seconds 
So if we do that, then we can go ahead and figure out how many skin cells die every second. So we know the number of seconds in three weeks, which is 1,814,400 seconds. We know from our book that there are 35, or actually we don't know from our book, but we looked it up and we found out that there were 35 billion skin cells. So all we have to do is divide the number of skin cells by the lifespan of the cell type. So 35 billion skin cells by 1,814,400 seconds, and we come up with our answer, which is there are 29,625 cell deaths every second. So now we're going to apply this to figuring out um, how many blood cells are lost every second. So they've given us some stipulations here that there are 30 days in a month. So we're going to go ahead and use that in figuring out the number of seconds in four months. So we'll go ahead and get you set up on this. So now that there's four months, and according to our book, there are going to be 30 days in a month. So the months are going to cancel out. And we know that the number of hours in a day, so we know that there are 24 hours in a day. And we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. And we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if we calculate that all out, we'll get the number of seconds. So if you want to go ahead and record that and multiply that out, then the next part of this would be how many blood cells die every second. And we'll do what we did just last time. The number of seconds for months, well, you have to calculate that and you would record that there. And we know that there are 25 trillion skin cells because our book told us that. And then all you'd have to do is divide the 25 trillion skin cells divided by the number of seconds in four months, and you would have your answer. So go ahead and uh, calculate that out and record your answer in your HMH book. If you have any further questions, please see your science teacher.